Hey guys, thanks for joining me in this portion of a continuing conversation. I would like to um, give my thanks to the YouTube channel uh, Ex Jehovah Witness uh, Beliefs Discussed, if I have that correct. He recently put up a video discussing a Twitter, a tweet that Lloyd Evans recently put out. And I would like to take this time to read what the tweet is for the benefit of our subscribers and viewers that are not on Twitter, that are maybe not even on Facebook. This is what Lloyd Evans recently put out. The date should be April 7th. The latest conspiracy theory doing the rounds is that I filmed recent bunker videos in front of a green screen from another location. There's even a 118 page forum thread fixating over this. Just real quick, like Watchtower, he's not going to tell you what that forum is because he doesn't want his Twitter readers, his Twitter followers, to find where this thread is, this forum, so that they can go read it for themselves. So that's just as underhanded as what Watchtower does. They don't, he doesn't give you the source going on. I can confirm it's total nonsense. It's total nonsense. Remember these words. If folks could quit obsessing and making up lies, dot, dot, dot. So after Lloyd tweeted that out, someone did a, another tweet at Lloyd Evans. You're crazy, Lloyd. The 118 pages about your public confession of your trip to Thailand and your adultery with prostitutes. You distort information. That's your specialty. Well, you know, one of the problems is, is that when Watchtower accuses apostates of making up half-truths and lies, telling half-truths and lies, Watchtower is 100% correct. I, I, have, I have to state that. I even hate to state that. But Watchtower is exactly 100% correct. Because what Lloyd Evans is doing in this tweet, he's actually telling a half-truth and lie. He's using the exact same tactic that Watchtower does when they write their articles. When they do their little broadcasts. The latest conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy theory, Lloyd, because you yourself confirmed what this entire thread is all about. Because it's a distraction to say that this entire 118 page thread is about you in front of a green screen. So I'm going to give you guys quite a bit of background information regarding this and why Lloyd is telling a half truth and lie just like Watchtower and I dare say if you're going to go over and continue to like his tweets, like his videos, watch his videos, you are confirming through Lloyd Evans that the apostates tell half-truths and lies. It's exactly what you're doing. Now, backtracking a little bit, the forum that Lloyd Evans is talking about is JehovahWitness.com. Years ago when Kim and I were waking up, it was called JehovahWitness.net and Lloyd Evans was posting there simultaneously as Kim and I were. In fact, he was probably posting there a little bit longer than we were. But I will tell you, the history's all there. You go to JW.com, look at some of the archived material, and you'll see that Lloyd Evans had to get kicked off that forum because he was bullying. How's that any different than what he's doing now, friends? He sends out letters, presumably from a credible lawyer's office in Croatia, and he's doing nothing but bullying through those letters. Those tactics from Lloyd Evans has not stopped. Okay? But in time, JehovahWitness.net changed its name to JehovahWitness.com. Now, a little bit more about the background. When Lloyd Evans got kicked off, he needed some place, he needed some outlets to spew his BS, you know, to spew his 
half-truths and lies, the latest conspiracy theory going, uh, doing the rounds is that I filmed recent bunkum videos. He has to go somewhere else to make those statements and not be challenged like he was over on JehovahWitness.net. So in time, we all are familiar with Jehovah Witness Reddit, JW Reddit. Now, JW Reddit proved to be a safe haven for Lloyd Evans because if you go over there and post anything negative about Lloyd Evans, it will get taken down. That's called information control. Information control. Isn't it, isn't it ironic how we accuse Watchtower of information control? And yet, over on XJW Reddit, they're practicing the same thing that Watchtower does. Information control. So Watchtower, again, is 100% correct about apostates. 100% correct. Okay? Now, this is what is posted over on JehovahWitness.com. And as of this day, the recording of this video, it is now up to 138 pages. And um, I do want to state that this is a record for the longest ongoing thread over on JehovahWitness.com. And guess who's responsible for this thread? <laughs> My wife is. And you know why this thread got started, friends? Do you know why? I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to read the first part that started this thread. It's entitled, Information Control. Kim Silvio, now this is my wife, Kim, printing this, typing this, starting this thread. Kim Silvio, legal advisor for JW Watch, did a statement. It has been taken down by Reddit. All those people defending him are missing one little word, and minors. Okay, so we all are familiar with Kim Silvio's statement, but this thread started two months ago. Two months ago, nobody had anything in their mind about Lloyd Evans filming in front of a green screen. So the 118 pages has got hardly anything to do with filming in front of a green screen. It has everything to do with Lloyd Evans and Reddit taking down Kim Silvio's post. It's information control. Now the reason why my wife Kim decided to go over on exjehovahwitness.com um, is because we already knew and we already have an account there. We've had one there for years. But my wife Kim knew that this post would not be censored, would not be taken down. Because JehovahWitness.com is not a safe haven for John Cedars, Lloyd Evans, and his minions. It's just simply not. Because the people that post over there by uh, far and large are critical thinkers. They don't want their thoughts deleted. They don't want their posts taken down unless you're a bully. If you're a bully, yeah, it's going to be taken down. So as of today, this post is now up to 138 pages. Unbelievable, isn't it, friends? That should let this community by far and large recognize two things. <laughs> Kim, my wife, can start a post that's going to go 138 pages long. But it's about everything regarding Lloyd Evans and his Thailand and prostitute excursions. And Lloyd, you validated everything yourself by doing that live podcast when you threw your wife under the bus, you threw Kim Silvio under the bus, and then now you've got the nerve you get the nerve to say the latest conspiracy theory. Lloyd, it came directly out of your own mouth. It's not a conspiracy theory when you, when you validate what was stated. You validated it. 
What a moron! I can confirm it's total nonsense. So, are you saying that your live podcast about you admitting to going to Thailand, buying prostitutes for several years, is nonsense? Are you friends seeing why Watchtower has every right to say that ex-Jehovah's Witnesses, apostates, tell half-truths and lies? And yet, how many of you friends, how many of you friends are buying this crap? How many? I know there's a few because my wife Kim has been keeping up on some of this stuff on JW.com. We see the minions trying to protect this man's identity. And it's disgusting. It's really disgusting. One person even had the nerve to call my wife a liar. Really? It came out of Lloyd Evans' own mouth. He did a live podcast. He did this. It's not a conspiracy theory, friends. It's not total nonsense. And we're not making up lies, Lloyd, when it comes out of your mouth. So once again, friends, I'm just going to plainly state it. As long as we, and I don't watch his videos, but as long as we as a community continue to watch his videos, to, to read his tweets, and whatever crap he puts out there, we are proving Watchtower is correct. Apostates tell half-truths and lies, even if we do it to ourselves. Have a nice day.